Okay, so now we're going to go out and build this next section, the bio section of our website. And we can do that a couple ways. So we could add a new section if we wanted to. We could also duplicate our current section if we wanted to reuse that. We don't in this case. Another way we could do that is once we click this, we could also use a pre-designed section. So maybe there's something in here that we just wanted to drag and drop and looking great. The cool thing about these um, pre-designed sections is they're already optimized for all the devices. So you can see this looks great on mobile already. Wix Studio has done the heavy lifting for us to create an awesome design. So if you don't have a, a wireframe or a mock-up or something you're building to, those can be really great. But for this case, we're just going to start at the blank section. And then we need to have um, this, this layout here. So we have a picture, we've got a bio, we have some text, we have a button and some icons. So we're going to start building this out. So it's a, it's a two column. We've got one column and two columns. It's a two column layout. So I'm going to go ahead and click two columns. So here we go. I've got my two columns. And on the one side, we have an image. So I'm just going to quickly add an image over here. I'm not going to worry about the size of it yet. And on the other side, we've got a little heading, paragraph, button. So I. I might actually just duplicate this stack here. So I'm just right clicking on it, I'm duplicating it so I don't have to re-grab those elements again. I am gonna have to change some colors here. So change this to black and change this to black text. Let's see where am I at here. Here we go. And I'm actually gonna unstack these for now. So I'm gonna unstack these so now these elements can move freely. Okay, so we've got those elements that we want. We're gonna to have to change them a little bit. But this is where we're gonna get into some of the padding and formatting of these different sections that is so important. And it is a little bit difficult to figure out first how it works on Mix Studio. So I've got my image here and it's about 500 by 500. Um, so I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do 500 by about 500. So here we have more of a square. And if I wanted to get it exactly like this, I could. I could enter that exact dimension. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna shrink it down just a little bit. Okay, so we do have some spacing. We have some spacing between our, our heading up here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some of that spacing. So I'm gonna actually make my section a little bit bigger. I'm gonna drag it down, drag it down. I get down so I get a little bit of space here but I don't want my image all the way I don't want it touching anything here I kind of want it in between so I'm actually going to add some padding in this cell I'm going to I'm going to come into the cell itself so again for our, if we're looking at our layers panel section these are called cells and then I'm going to put in some padding and what this is going to do is it's going to give me some distance from these these walls of the cell. So if I click that little link button, it gives them all 5%, and now I have some, some distance where the image will sit within that padding. So the other cool thing about Wix Studio is if I click this stretch button, it's gonna fill, this image is gonna fill that, that empty space automatically. So just with one click, I can do that right away. Um, they also have some really cool image masks that we could use to make our image look even even cooler. So some of these features we aren't getting into in this course, but they, they are awesome. So if I put the image here, it'll it'll be look like it's looking through this. We got a snake one here. So some really cool stuff. So I better get that back to normal. And let's see, that's not it. I mean how do I turn this off? Let's see here. Back to this. There we go. Just the regular image size. Okay, so I've got that. So I'm not gonna stretch it yet, but I've got my padding to give it some space. And then I'm gonna get this built out over here. And you can see there's already some docking and, and margins and different things here. This is kind of where it's aligned to the, to the cell. So I've got my bio, I've got my paragraph. So I actually am gonna get rid of this. I'm just gonna quickly add a paragraph in here, a little faster that way. And 
I'm going to change my button color to be black for now, the text to be white, and then we'll get this changed to at some point. Okay, so I've got my elements, and I'm going to copy those over really quickly. So I'm just going to double click in here, my bio, perfect. I'm going to click this paragraph. There we go. And then my button is book now. It's not the right color yet, but this is center aligned. This needs to be center aligned. It's already center aligned. Okay. And then my image, I'm going to get my image from here. So I'm going to export this out. And I'm going to upload that as my image. So I'm going to change image. And I'm just going to pull it in from the browser. And if once this loads, We've got our image, perfect. So if I click stretch, you can see it's gonna stretch this image. And hey, it's already looking pretty close to what we have here, so automatically stretched it. I get a lot of image settings I can do. I can change, adjust things if I need to, but yeah, it's looking pretty good. So I've got that there. I've got my bio. And then again, I'm gonna stack these. So I'm just gonna hold shift and click on them. I'm gonna stack them, I'm gonna line them inside. I'm going to give them some pixel spacing of 32 because I believe that's what we have here. We have 32 um, spaces between each item. So I'm going to give 32 spaces between each item. I'm going to line this in my cell to be centered and centered. So if we look at our layers panel again, I'm in the cell, I'm on the stack itself, and then I could get into these different things. So if that's looking pretty good, then that might be great. I do want to add some padding here too, like I did to the other side. So I'm, I'm clicking in the cell. I'm going down to the position and I'm going to click padding. So if I did want to edit something else in here, it'll give me some different options. But I'm going to do a 5% again. Give myself some space in this box. And then I'm going to align this here. And I'm also going to align it to center. So if I click that, that'll align it to center. I can check this one too. Um, align to center, this one's good to go. So I've got my two sections here looking pretty good. And I can, I can do some different things to make sure this is spaced correctly. But again, if we start to look into how this looks on mobile and, and tablet, it doesn't really look that great. So we're going to go in and we're going to um, use our AI tool. But the really important thing that I think is, is key here is this padding, this docking margins and padding. So the docking, there's these little arrows. That means that it's docking to the top and to the right. So you might want it to do that. I'm going to keep it in the center. I don't want it to really move. I just want it in the center. But then we have our margins. And then if we click in here, we have our padding. So right now we're talking about the stack. We don't really want to add any padding to the stack. We want it, We added it to the section, and that's why we see this green here. Um, but if we wanted to add some padding to the stack or to this specific text element, then we can go in, and you can see it does have some padding here because it's in the stack of 32 pixels. So you can get really granular with the formatting, which is why Wix Studio is so powerful, because you can make these pixel-perfect websites. So it's really important to know that there's three different things that are here. There's docking, margins, and padding, and depending on what you do is how it's going to show up on the website. So that's that's this section. We'll go ahead and do the, the uh, AI real quick. So we get this response now. So I'm gonna click it, I'm gonna let it generate, and then as soon as the AI is done working, then we're going to rename this section as the bio. And it's already going to work to make this as mobile friendly as possible. So let's check what it did. Tablet looks great so far. Mobile. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. I actually don't really like that the image is on top here. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to switch these up. So if I just drag this down, so I just click that little box and drag it down, it swapped the content for me. And I think that looks a little better. We have image, then bio, then image. And we get some other things here now that this is in a different setup. So in this section, 
these are now rows. If you look on the desktop, this section, let me get to it. These are columns, so it's going side to side, but in mobile it needs to be rows. So this is where we get into manu manually editing these things. And we do have spaces between the rows. So if I wanted a bigger space, let's say between these two rows, let's say I wanted 40 pixels. You can see it gives me that 40 pixels in between these two rows. I actually just want it at 12. 12 is great. Um, and now I have the space between those rows. I can do the same thing with columns. Once I'm in this section, if I do want a gap in the columns, I can give myself a little bit of a gap here. And now you can see there's a gap. I could give myself a 100 pixel gap. And now there's a gap there too. So I just want, I do kind of like a little bit of a gap there, 12 pixel, pixels. And I could give myself a gap if there were other ones below. And I'm going to rename this to hero or to bio. And so now I've got my bio and the padding should be good to go so that on any device, I've got that spacing around the image, this kind of wall here that it's not going to run into anything as I shrink it or scale it so I can see how it's looking. Again, I'm really happy with that. So that's what we'll do for our bio section. We'll go ahead and we'll go, we still have some updating to do. The colors aren't quite right. We have the icons to add. Um, so I'll add those soon, um, but just wanted to get into the padding and margins and, and formatting inside of Wix Studio. So I'll catch you in the next lesson.